Hello and welcome to the non-official video that will help you prepare for my upcoming computer programming tutorial series. This is Joey at Joey Central. And today, this is going to be a video that will be before my formal series. So this is not a video included in the formal series, but rather a video that will help you begin getting started in the main series when it actually does come out. Now keep in mind that I'm pretty much still kind of working on it and even when I do begin working on it it will still be a work in progress meaning instead of recording all of the lectures and then uploading them all at once because that's going to take a pretty long time I'm going to actually be uploading every one or two lessons pretty much so basically when I'm uploading it I'm still going to be working on the series I don't know how long it's going to take there may be um, little hiccups, bumps in between, but regardless, it's going to be a work in series, and unless it's stated otherwise, it's still going to be continue being worked on. Most of the lessons will be done using the whiteboard app using my tablet. But when it comes to screen capturing actual programming demonstrations, I will most likely be using Visual uh, Windows Visual Studio IDE to demonstrate it. As stated in my previous video, the programming language that we will be using is C++. The series will begin designating an audience with zero, like no programming uh, background or experience, or anybody who hasn't programmed in a very long time and pretty much forgot everything. And it, basically the series is going to develop in difficulty from there on out. This video will help you prepare for those lessons by installing the ideal IDE or integrated development environment and getting acquainted with the features that will be relevant in the upcoming lessons to help you get on track. I will have the download links for all of the installers or every IDE for each operating system down below in the comments. With that said, let's get started with teaching you how to install the IDEs. Okay, so first, let us get started with learning how to install Visual Studio. Now, if you're using Windows, I would heavily suggest using Visual Studios. This is going to be the IDE that I will be working with throughout the series. If you're using Mac or Linux, then I will demonstrate later on on how to install the ideal IDE. And of course, this is all opinion based. But in my experience, this is probably the easiest IDE to work with. So first of all, this is Windows. I'm going to show you how to install Visual Studio. So if you're in Google, you want to first type in the search bar Visual Studio. After you do that, the very first link, you should see Visual Studio IDE Code Editor this is what you want to go to. So click that. So this is what your screen should look like. So you should see all of this. Look for Visual Studio IDE. This is what you want. Hover your mouse above it and click on Community 2017. I do not know if this is free or not. I'm pretty certain that there is a free trial if it isn't 100% free. But it should allow you to do everything that we will be doing in our lessons down below in the event that it's not. Anyways, you're going to click on that. And as soon as you click on it, it sh you should automatically install the installer. It should not be a large file. It should be relatively small. But if you click on it, then it will take you to a launcher. So you're going to click on that. And after you click on it, you're, you're going to pretty much be prompt to install it through the installation wizard. I th honestly believe the installation wizard is pretty straightforward. You just pretty much select all the default settings and you let it install. It's a pretty big um, f download, so don't expect everything to download immediately. 
but you base but basically it's pretty straightforward I already have it installed on my computer if you need any further help feel free to comment in the down in the uh, video section down below and I will do my best to help you out so anyways let me show you uh, what happens once you install it once you install Visual Studio this should be the screen that you'd be looking at now when you launch it for the first time it's going to give you a couple of options if I, re if I recall correctly it'll ask you what programming language you will be working with now you don't have to, you don't have to answer that you can just hit the, the default settings it could just be general it doesn't really matter because at the end of the day you will still be able to, to perform all the actions that will be done in the tutorial so as long as you downloaded the right application and you should if you were following this video series at this time anyways we, we're going to be creating projects throughout this series so in order to make a new project there's two ways to do it you click on file go to new and you should see project it's the very first one or you can hit control shift n that's the keyboard shortcut as you get more acquainted with the space then that's usually how you be starting new projects now this might look different for you the screen because you just installed the program but basically uh, what you're gonna look for is under the installed you should see a tab called visual C++ you're gonna expand it and you should see Windows desktop after clicking Windows desktop you should see Windows console application this should be the setting that you always want to use during this tutorial. Anyways, this isn't required, but I recommend doing it. What I would do is I would I would hit browse and I would set up a folder. And the reason why I would set up a folder is because it is really good practice. It is not good practice to put all of your projects on your do in your documents, or worse, on your desktop. So I would put. Uh, so for me, I called. Um, I called the folder YouTube Programming Tutorial Series. I put it on my disk drive, and that's where my projects will be going to. You could do the same thing, or you could do it somewhere else, depending on how well you can remember to find it later on. Afterwards, you hit OK, and then afterwards, it's it'll take a few seconds to actually create the new project, but once you do create the new project, you will pretty much see this screen right here. Now, don't be intimidated by this. We're not going to be coding just yet, but by the time you are ready, you will be far less intimidated. So do not be intimidated by what you see right here. That's how you create a new project using Visual Studio. Next, I'm going to demonstrate and explain how to ins what ID how to install the IDE called Xcode for Mac if you are using a MacBook. Okay, so for installing Xcode, I'm not actually recording this on my Mac. And the reason why I'm not is because I don't have any OBS or screen recording applications for my Mac, mainly because unlike my Windows computer, it is only 1.6 gigahertz and there are already a ton of apps running on it right now. So I don't really feel like closing everything I have down just to do it. And it's not really necessary, mainly because it is very easy to install, pretty much. Like, it's probably easier to install than Visual Studio for Windows. Anyways, basically, all you gotta do is open up the command inside of the Mac. It should be really easy. You should find it. The first, it's the first thing you should find in your Finder folder. You should see Command. Double click that and then basically you just type this line in Xcode dash select space double dash install and then from here on out 
you should cut you should get this window and basically you just let the installation wizard do its thing now I must warn you that Xcode is a really really big program it is a huge download it's about five gigabytes if my memory recalls so if you're downloading it make sure you have stable Wi-Fi when you download it otherwise you're gonna have to restart to download again which would suck if you were 95 percent complete and your download stopped abruptly because you moved away from the hotspot so make sure you're at you have stable connection by the time you are downloading it and don't move around so much other than that there's really not much that can go wrong with installing Xcode uh, finally when it comes to Linux um, there really isn't any IDE as far as I recall but the best method to use would be to type everything on a, on on Emac which is the default um, te text editing app that comes with uh, Linux and basically you're gonna save your files as a, um, as a C++ file and in order to compile their, in your C++ files you're gonna have to use a built-in compiler called G++ now I will provide a, on a series or a short little guide on how to use G++ to compile your projects I have you I do use uh, Linux uh, to to actually compile all my school projects so I can tell you from the top of my head that it's not too hard to use you just have to make sure you set the right flags now for Windows and Mac users you don't have to worry about any of this so do not be intimidated by anything that I'm saying right now and even if you're using Linux then do not be too intimidated either because you're really not gonna want to use too and you're not basically there's really no point in getting too hung up on the different type of flags that exist when compiling your programs but I will provide a simple G++ guide down below but basically other than that everything should still be the same for you if you're following this guide through Linux or any other type of Unix based operating systems anyways that just about does it with my guide there really isn't much uh, to explain I only wanted to help everyone who are interested in learning uh, programming set up their IDE and know how to set up a new project because when I begin um, going into the actual tutorial I'm gonna kinda um, dive into the uh, programming after the first one or two lessons and we're gonna create a relatively simple program that should be easy to follow along anyways that just about does it I appreciate you guys watching this video if you find this helpful or you're looking forward to this guide coming up then do leave a like and subscribe on my channel down below I greatly appreciate that this is Joey at Joey Central signing out and as always stay in the central